Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nancy and today I will be discussing how to change your permalinks on your website or blog. Now, the reason why we want to make sure that we have a nice or pretty permalink, how I call it, is because of different reasons. One is SEO purposes and another one is to, to make the link look a lot nicer and cleaner. So when I say permalink, permalink is the web address used to link to your content. So on under settings in your, let's say on, on WordPress, you are able to choose a common setting or create your custom URL structure. I recommend doing the custom URL. So for instance, this is an example. This is an article that I wrote, um, is XC listing tips. So I talk about XC, how to create a listing from scratch and so on. So the keywords that I'm trying to rank for is XC listing tips. So my permalink, which is right up here, would be nancy.com slash XC listing tips. Now there are websites out there that will have, let's say this is their, their beginning of their blog, nancybadillo.com, and then they'll have like 1113330 WTQRS. That's an ugly permalink, basically. One, you don't want that because if you put that link somewhere in social media or somewhere else, it looks like spam, so people might not click on it. And two, another reason why you want to change is because you want to rank for that keyword. So for you for you to rank for what uh, for the keyword, one of the SEO factors is having the keyword in your actual URL. So you want to make sure that you incorporate whatever keyword you're trying to rank for in the actual URL. So it's important that you do it that way. It will be SEO friendly for Google, but it's also SEO friendly for humans as well. When they're looking at it, it will look nicer. Another benefit is that you will your chances of ranking higher in the search engine will grow because of it versus if you didn't have it that way. And it's very simple. I mean, this video is going to be very short. It's very simple for you to change it. So all you have to do, if you notice that for some reason your URLs here is like all numbers and letters and very long, all you have to do is you go under settings. So you log into your WordPress, you go under settings, and then you go to permalinks. You click on it and it's going to give you these common sections here. So normally what I do, you could do either the cu custom structure or you could do the post name. I like doing the post name only because I already know that I'm going to use my keyword. So I normally name my article, the keyword I use, I put it in the, in the permalink. So by doing that automatically it will show up versus if you choose any of these ones up here, this one will have the, the numbers. This one will have the date and name of the post, which I don't really care for. This one will also have like the, the month and the name of the post. And then as you see, this one will have archives. And then right here is more of a custom one if you wanna put a category and then put the name. To keep it as simple as you can, I will choose post name. Once you do that, just make sure that you save the changes. And every time you upload a post, it will keep the name that you gave it. It won't change it to one of the other ones. But you have to make sure that this is saved this way in order for it to be like that in every single post that you do. So from here on, if you guys have any questions about any tutorial that you might wanna see, make sure you leave me a comment below letting me know, hey, I would like to learn so-and-so and I will do a video for you as well. Make sure you subscribe to my channel I will be doing a lot more tutorials this year in 2018 and make sure that um, you give this a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys listening and I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you again. Bye-bye.